Okay, for this fly, we're going to tie a double bunny streamer. And uh, this streamer is tied on a, I, I tie this, this fly on a much larger hook. This is a size two wide gape uh, stinger hook. And uh, it's a pretty good sized streamer. I like to use it when I'm fishing for larger predatory fish, uh, large bo uh, brown trout, um, rainbows. So great fly, actually a pretty easy tie, and uh, it sinks nice and deep where the bigger fish are. So um, here we go, double bunny streamer. So we're going to start off with, with two different strips of rabbit fur. This is my gray uh, strip that I'm going to put on first. And to put this on, I actually do not need any thread. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the hook, I'm going to take it off of the vise. I'm going to pierce the hook right through the middle of this strip about maybe an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a half down right there in the middle. So pierce it. Just like that. Get through the little leather there. And then just kind of work it up to about where it would sit on the fly. Right there. So once I get that pierced in, then I can put the fly, the hook back in the vise. So you'll notice it's, like I said, it's pierced right on, right onto the hook, right in the middle. Okay. So then the next piece of rabbit fur that we're going to tie in, I like to use this, uh, it's kind of a white and olive barred uh, strip of rabbit fur. And we're going to try to tie that in so that it is sticking back behind the hook, similar to this other strip of rabbit fur. So I like to measure it, try to make sure it's about the same length. And that's about where I'm going to lay it on there. Now, to, when I put this on there, actually I'm going to have to use thread. So now I'm going to put some black thread and attach it and fasten it to the hook. So black thread is black floss thread, pretty heavy. You like to use that because you can pull pretty tight on it, get things fastened down nice and tight. Uh, we're not really worried about a lot of delicacy here because pretty good size fly. So room for errors and room for bulk, for a lot of bulk. So, okay. I got my thread tied onto the hook. I run my thread back here to right about where I have the uh, gray rabbit fur pierced onto the hook. Now I'm going to take my the other rabbit fur, set it right on top, just like that, and I'm going to tie that off using my thread. Use the thread, first wrap, somewhat soft, and my next five or six wraps are a little bit tighter. Whoop, got that rabbit fur in there. Okay, so I got that on there. Now that I've got the barred rabbit fur on top, gray on the bottom, I'm gonna hold both of those back and I'm going to take the thread and I'm gonna wrap it up to the front of the fly. I'm leaving a little bit of space in the front because we're gonna do have to do a little bit of work up there. So now I'm going to take the oops, I'm going to take the barred rabbit fur. And we are going to wrap that, wrapping it with the leathery part facing the hook, you know, adjacent to the hook. So I'm going to wrap it just as if it was almost like it was hackle. We're going to wrap that up the shank of the hook all the way to where I stopped wrapping with my thread. Okay, once we get it up there, I'm going to tie it off. Nice and tight, get a bunch of good wraps in there. And I'm going to snip this little strip of rabbit fur. So right now, it just kind of looks like one big, uh, one big poofy mess, but it'll start to, it'll start to look better here as we work it. Now that the gray rabbit fur that's just tied, that's just pierced onto the hook. I'm going to take the tail portion of it, make sure that it's 
kind of lined up with uh, the barred stuff on top. On the bottom, I'm going to pull the other part, this part right here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to pull that forward, hold it right like that and tie it off. So essentially we're tying a fly that's like, it's a two-tone fly. We've got the, this kind of shading with the bards on the top and the gray on the bottom. So I'm going to pull this forward, get a good wrap. And try to fasten that down nice and tight. I'm going to work my thread back and forth, trying to avoid uh, grabbing a lot more of that rabbit fur than I need to. Once I get a few fairly tight wraps, I know what's fastened on there. I'm going to snip that rabbit fur up in the front. Now there's quite a bit of kind of a mess up here, so what I like to do is I like to just kind of use my thread, get it all tied down, so I have a nice little base. This base up here is what we're going to do a little bit of work with. So, okay, so this is looking pretty good. We've got our got our gray on the bottom, another on the top. Now, just to add a little bit of sparkle to this fly, I like to take a little bit of flash. Just a little bit of flash, and I tie this in on each side. So, almost if this was a since this fly imitates a little bait fish, I like to tie this in right about where I would assume the lateral lines of that fish would be. So, I'm going to tie that in just like that. A couple of wraps on that side, and I just pull this to the other side, hold it in place. And I do three or four wraps on this side. All right, so now I've got a little bit of got a little bit of flash on this fly. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to want to put on here is the uh, this fly's got to have a little bit of weight, so we can get it down to the bottom of the river, or the lake that we're fishing. So we're going to use uh, these these little barbell eyes, and we're going to tie this right up here onto the head end. So to tie this, I like to take it, I set it on top of the fly. I usually take, I take one, two wraps one way and crisscross one or two wraps the other way. Once I get that, then I like to turn it and put the eye underneath the hook. And then now it's just a matter of getting that fastened onto the hook. So I get quite a few wraps one direction. Oh, she's trying to slip on me a little bit. And then quite a few wraps the other direction. Just to try to get that on there nice and tight. So sometimes I'll use a little bit of a crisscrossing method. Just kind of work your way front to back, front to back, front to back. Whoop. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now the only thing that I like to, one thing I like to finish off with, which you can't see very good in this video, but if I turn it and you look at the head of that fly right there, it's kind of a mess. You can see all the black thread and all the junk that's been, how it's been tied on there. So what I like to do is I take some dubbing, which it's uh, kind of an interesting type of dubbing, but it's, uh, you, take, you can use any type you want. I like to use this really flashy, kind of crystally type dubbing. It's definitely a synthetic, a little bit more difficult to, to use. It doesn't fasten to the thread quite as well, but I like to take that, 
dub that onto my thread and use that and I just kind of wrap this head a little bit give the fly the appearance of a head and this crystal just gives it a little bit more of a sparkly look a little bit of that flash that you're looking for I've also used other dubbings uh, non-synthetics that you know actual natural dubbings that uh, that are darker and they work well too so but we'll use this and I'll do a couple of crisscross wraps on the front kind of shore it up a little bit there we go now I'm going to whip finish this fly I've got my thread clear up here on the eyelet I'm going to whip finish, and I actually whip finish out in front of this barbell. Sometimes people prefer to do it behind it, but I'm going to do it right up in front. It can be a little bit difficult because that barbell sometimes likes to sit right up in there, but usually you can weave your thread up in there between it. All right, there we have it. The uh, double bunny streamer with the barbell eyes for weight. Last thing I like to do, just add a little bit of, maybe a little bit of character to this fly. I like to put uh, the little eyes right there on the, uh, on the actual side of the barbells. So try to do it while it's on the vise here so you get a good look at it. But these are just sticky little eyes. You can buy these at craft shops. Some fly shops will have them. Uh, I haven't noticed a difference between the two. And a lot of times, I'll, once I put them on there, just to ensure that they stay, I use a little bit of my Flex Coat uh, fly head cement to make sure that they stay on there. So there we go. Now, one thing you may notice is this tail is separate from this tail. So uh, all the tying is done. What I will do is I take some, uh, it's called, how you call it, Flex Coat. This brand name happens to be Soft X, a little bit of fly head cement. And I will actually glue those two strips back here together. The way that I do that is get a little bit of fly head cement on, on my needle, put it on the bottom strip of the rabbit fur try to cover it pretty good try not to get any on the actual hair because if you do it gets a little stiff a little rigid there we go that looks pretty good Now I'm just going to carefully put these two strips together. There we go. Then I gotta let the fly dry out for a little bit, of course, but uh, once it dries, this is a little bit more rigid back here, but uh, I think it looks a little nicer when these these two strips are actually fastened together. So um, there it is, double bunny. Good look, good looking streamer, very effective.